everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well and a big warm welcome if you're new here. I think that these days we've come to expect kind of instant solutions to everything. So actually I'm really excited to share this video with you today because I have 10 instant solutions for you. If you want to make your waist look smaller than it is, more or less whatever size you are. These are your no diet necessary and no exercise necessary solutions. Now, I'm definitely not saying that diet and exercise are bad, of course. They're wonderful for health and necessary. But this is providing you with instant solutions that you can do right now to reduce the look of your waist before you start all the dieting and all the exercise and anything else you like to do. So I'm getting started straight away with the first bit of advice really, as well as a styling tip, which is number one, create an illusion. You know, it's all about creating an illusion. It really doesn't matter what actual shape or size we are. We can all create illusions using styling techniques and little tricks, which can really, really help. So I want to really demonstrate this point to you today in this video, because just because some of us may not have much of a waist, that doesn't mean to say that we can't look as though we have. Another thing is that we can be any size and not have a waist. It doesn't mean that you're necessarily overweight to have a figure with no waist. You can be statuesque, you can be petite, you can be plus size, any size, and you could still have an undefined waist. And sadly, uh, a thickening of the waist is something that frequently happens at our age with that really lovely menopause thing that we have to go through. So I'd like to illustrate this for you in my first look. It's not really a look, it's not a look that I would wear out, but it's just to illustrate the shape and the lack of waist definition. So here you can see that I have a really, really straight up and straight down figure. There's very little waist definition at all. Um, I'm a real rectangle. Well, an inverted triangle really, but actually a rectangle when it gets to this bit. And wearing items that fit me all the way down just highlights this. It doesn't matter what I weigh, bigger or smaller, I still have no waist. And in these clothes, it really sure looks as though I don't have one either. <laughs> so it's all about the silhouette. The aim is to create a balanced silhouette, creating the illusion of as much of a V shape above the waist as we can and an inverted V shape below the waist so that actually this ends up looking like we do have an actual waist. So in this look too, as you can see here, just by changing what I'm wearing, altering the silhouette with styling techniques, I look a completely different shape. I've created the effect of a slightly V-shaped top and a more V-shaped bottom. Now, this isn't a V-shaped top, it's more of a boxy jacket, but it gives you the general idea. I still don't have a waist, but my figure looks more balanced and it looks more curvy here, and it's just much more flattering. So how has this happened? Well, firstly, I've created the idea that I have a waist underneath that jacket, whether I have or not. The eye kind of expects it to be there. And another way, of course, is to create more of a V-shape on the upper body by styling up stronger shoulders. And this is why I chose this jacket, really, because it's got stronger shoulders. So it supports the V effect. And I'll be covering the other ways during this video as well, of course. So let's crack straight on with my second styling point, which is number two, avoid volume around the waist. Now, I know that sounds like a no brainer and pretty obvious, but sometimes the temptation is to cover up and bulk up around the very area that we want to disguise. And this just doesn't work as it actually makes the area that you're trying to disguise look larger and wider. So when you're looking at clothes, maybe the ones in your wardrobe that you've got already and definitely anything that you're thinking of buying, watch out for anything that's waist thickening. Now, things that are waist thickening are things like gathers at that point point and try and steer clear of that. Gathered fabric has to puff out close to the seam that's holding it in place. So a gathered waistline will actually make you look bigger, as you can see here in my look three. And so this applies very much when you're tucking in a loose shirt into a pair of trousers or into jeans. The fabric of the shirt has to puff out around it, especially if it's an oversized shirt. And this can add a couple of inches to the overall effect, as you can see here, because it's really widened my silhouette. I look much, much bigger here. Now, one thing to bear in mind too is when you're wearing tailored trousers. Now, I know that quite often we tend to shy away from extra material in the legs, especially 
especially of a wide leg trouser, as we think that this adds bulk. And especially if we're not tall, like me, I'm five foot four. So, you know, you tend to think we don't want bulk in that area because we just can't take it. But if you have those uh, tailored trousers with darts and tucks in the front, the material flows out away from the waist and down the leg. So this should actually help the effect of the waist itself as it widens the leg in contrast to the waist, which of course makes it look thinner in comparison. Another technique that I want to share with you is number three, wear high rise. Of course, it does depend on the proportions of your body and the length of your torso, but in general, high rise trousers, jeans, or even skirts are more flattering and reduce the look of the waist. Now, when it comes to things like jeans, make sure your jeans hit the smallest part of your waist and there's no kind of spillage out on the sides or in the front. So I'm gonna demonstrate this to you here. As you can see, this is a little bit embarrassing for me because you'll be able to see my tummy, but anyway, bear with me. As you can see, these are high rise jeans and they hit my actual waist. So they don't show off any sort of fat hanging over or anything like that. And they just cover up the, the waist into the waist and they bring it in. Now, if I pull down um, the, the jeans to replicate a lower rise jean, you can see that I do get some spillage and my flesh hangs a bit more and the effect is not streamlined at all. It's not flattering. So just going half an inch higher can really help to create the illusion of a narrower waist. But of course, as I said, it really does depend on your individual shape. Okay, for my next styling tip, number four, try slimming side panels. I just love this little trick. One way to create the illusion of a smaller waist is to wear clothing, especially dresses, that have slimming panels down the side. Now it's really successful if you choose black or navy or another dark color for the panels. And actually, it's an approach that works really well for swimwear too. And these kinds of blocks of colors can completely alter the impression of each person's shape. Now, shapewear can obviously help too with reducing the look of the waist, and it's great if you like shapewear, but actually I think that's a bit of a given. Um, so I'm not really going to be focusing on shapewear itself in this video. I'm trying to find ways of doing it kind of more naturally. So I'd like to look now at different types of clothing and how they can be styled to help reduce the look of our waists. So I'm starting with jackets and blazers. So number five is techniques for jackets and blazers. Now there are different ways that you can style up a jacket or a blazer to create the illusion of a smaller waist and actually jackets and blazers can be really useful. Now one way is to go for a tailored hip length jacket or blazer. I don't know if you can hear that by the way, that's the gulls. We live very near the sea so, so they tend to sort of um, make a lot of noise around our house which is lovely actually. So back to the blazers. Now one way is to go for a tailored hip length jacket or blazer and wear it unbuttoned so that it creates a frame for your torso. And this gives the illusion of a waist as it trims the body on both sides going down. So as you can see here, just by adding a blazer, you can't actually see where my real waist is as the sides of your body or my body are completely hidden. And another little trick, the exposed wrists and lower arms also have a role to play in reducing the look of the waist as they reduce the amount of bulk in the fabric at that point too, which reduces the look of the waist itself because it's really close to the waist. Another way of reducing the look of the size of the waist with a jacket is to wear really structured and contoured jackets as you can see here. Now, as the jacket is cut inwards at the waist, it looks as though this lady has a waist, whether she does or not. And actually, she's also using it really cleverly, very skillfully here with the color, because she's got a lighter shade around her shoulder area to make them look larger. And remember what I said about structure and a V shape here, um, and a contrasting slightly darker shade that blends beautifully in nearer her waist, which brings it in or brings the eye in. But it can also be done with a block colour too, as you can see here, even in white, which you would kind of expect to enlarge the whole effect. So as I said earlier, it's all about illusion. 
So let's look at skirts and dresses now. So number six is wear A-line skirts and fit and flare dresses because choosing the right shape of dress or skirt is really important for how it looks on the waist. And I would suggest choosing a dress which cinches in at the waist, but not tightly. Again, obviously it depends on your body shape, but overall. So A-line skirts and dresses or fit and flare are just perfect as they generally a little bit fitted on the top, but not too much, just body skimming and then they come in at the waist and then they flow out on the lower half of the dress which disguises everything underneath beautifully <laughs> so this flow out from the waist downwards gives the illusion that the waist goes more in than it probably actually does so you can get some idea of how this works in action with this next look of mine now here, it's not a dress, but the effect is the same. The jacket is nice and structured with a slight emphasis at the shoulders with the puffy top to the shoulder. There's a border to delineate the waistline, but if you look carefully, you actually can't see my real waist at all. Then the skirt flows out and gets fuller as it goes down, which gives me that inverted V shape, V shape, <laughs> to make my waist look smaller. Okay, so let's move on to styling tip number seven, which is widen or deepen your neckline. Now, as you saw from the last look, just wearing a wider or more open neckline or a V-neckline just makes your waistline look thinner. You know, there's a vertical element with the black bordering and also the neckline is V-shaped um, and it takes the eye inwards and downwards down the body, creating an all important vertical line rather than a horizontal one, which of course would be much more widening. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing this stunningly beautiful uh, blouse silk shirt, really fine silk from Cezanne. And this sort of thing is absolutely perfect to give this effect because if you weren't comfortable with a V-neck, just unbutton your blouse a little or wear a blouse that's designed like this and it'll have the same effect. It's not only the shape, it's also the slight exposed skin, which reduces the overall bulk on the upper body. So my number eight is a really, really big one. So I'm actually going to just be touching on it here um, as this video is so full and it's, it's so wide with all the information. But this is a big one. It's all about color techniques. Now, black, of course, is the fail-safe traditional slimming color and can, or color, it's not really a color, um, and can work really well, especially around the waist. But also don't forget other darker colors too, which can work just as well. You know, other dark neutrals like dark blue, navy, purple, burgundy, charcoal gray, shades of brown, and even greens like pine green or olive green can have a really similar effect. Now, as I said, if you'd like me to go deeper into color as a whole topic in making our waist look smaller, things like color blocking, because it's quite complicated, please do comment in the space below. I always love to hear from you anyway, but in particular, if you would like me to do more on that. And of course, the colors that look good are specific to each of us individually. So I'm going to talk about now about another aspect of the waist, which is pretty crucial in creating illusions. And obviously we wear this sort of thing quite often as well. So my number nine is jeans shapes. Now, if you're a fan of jeans, you probably have your own favorite shape and wash as well. But actually, I often find that finding the perfect jeans is an ongoing process. Um, process of elimination largely. Now I've already talked about the high rise shape being important earlier but I'd like to share a couple of shapes and washes that you might like to consider to make your waist look smaller. Now the two shapes, now arguably you may have a different opinion of course, again I'd love to hear from you, but the two shapes that are universally the most flattering for most women are the straight leg and the boot cut or flare. Now the reason for this is that they give the illusion of going in at the waist before they're cut to go outwards further down the leg. So they give that really flattering silhouette. Add to this effect by teaming bootcut jeans with a blouse or a top which is structured and creates stronger shoulders as I talked about before. And now this top, uh, which is actually from Ted Baker, beautiful top, um, because it's fitted and it looks more structured, it creates a better shape. And of course the deep V neckline helps the whole effect too, which I've just been talking about. Okay, for my last point, number 10 is to belt or not to belt 
That is the question. <laughs> so it's a big question because belts do draw attention to the waist, of course, um, but that can work both ways. Um, what I would say is if you have a short torso or you're a little bit shorter, be careful of wearing a wide belt as it may make your torso look shorter. I know that I can't take a wide belt. It just squats me up. Also, you might want to consider not wearing a contrasting colour of belt, as this will draw attention to the width and thickness of the waist, and that's where the eye will go. Now, belts draw the eye also from side to side instead of vertically. Now, this horizontal line can, and again, of course, it depends on your individual body shape, make the waist appear larger than it is. What I really would suggest that you might like to try is to wear a really uplifting bra with a skinny belt. Skinny belts tend to be more flattering anyway. Now, by wearing your really uplifting bra, it basically pulls the girls up and off your torso and it creates more space under them. So by adding a belt just fractionally above your natural waist, especially a skinny one, you can totally fake an hourglass figure. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video, ladies. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button as I'd love to have you join our community. So I really hope that you have an amazing day. Oh, and don't forget to comment. <laughs> this is quite a controversial video, so please do comment. Love to hear it. So I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week. I'll look forward to you really seeing you really, really soon for short videos and long ones all about styling tips. Okay, take care. Lots of love. Bye.